What do you know? What do you know? Le magazine anglais qui vous permet de baigner dans la langue de Shakespeare. What do you know? Une production et une réalisation de Ramatou Oyaole. Good evening and welcome to our discussions of today Saturday. In our discussions of today, I have two guests. They are Flora Azuma and Balao, alias Obama of Togo. Flora Azuma, you are welcome to the studio of Radio Lome. Good evening, dear listeners of Radio Lome. My name is Flora Azuma. I am a linguist in training and a language teacher in secondary. I'm very happy to be in the studio this evening and uh, also to be questioned on the linguistic issues. Obama of Togo, you are also welcome to the studio of Radio Lome. Good evening, fellow listeners of Radio Lome. And Madame Oyawole, thank you for having me here. It is always a pleasure. The host of the program is Ramatu Oyawole. My regards to the technical producer and also to the man in control of sound. Every year, February 21st is a day set aside for International Mother Language Day and is an opportunity to celebrate and endorse the use of our mother tongue. It is also a reminder of the importance of multi lingualism in promoting cultural understanding, peace, and sustainable. The term for International Mother Language Day for 2024 is multilingual education and is a pillar of intergenerational learning. A UN statement said, multilingual and multicultural societies thrive through the preservation of their languages, which serve as conduits for traditional knowledge and cultural heritage. The objective of mother tongue is that it is the foundation for learning other languages and it helps you better understand your own culture and identity. It also allows you to communicate with your family and community members who may not speak other languages. It can give you a competitive edge in the job market. And now back to my guest in the studio. Florent, what is the aim of International Mother Language Day? Yeah, what is the aim of International Mother Language Day? Thank you very much for the question. You know, the aim of this date or this day is what? Is to celebrate and to promote the world's linguistic diversity. It is an opportunity for celebrating and promoting the world's linguistic diversity. Okay? It is also a day set up uh, for the commemoration of a particular event uh, that happened in Bangladesh in 1952. You know, on the 21st February 1932, uh, in 1952, rather, in Bangladesh, there uh, was a significant uh, fight and movement between the Bangladesh populations and the government. The populations have uh, fought against their government for the mother tongue, and that movement led to the death of some people. Some people have uh, lost their lives during the fight for a mother language. And since that day, the 21st February has been selected, has been uh, chosen as the International Mother Language Day. I could resume it again. The 21st February, or the aim, the goal, the target of this day is what? Is to promote, to celebrate the, the world's linguistic diversity. And it is also set up for the commemoration of uh, a particular event that happened in Bangladesh 1952 between the populations and the government for a mother language. The population have fought against their government for mother language. In that moment, uh, there were uh, broadly two mother languages on the territory, Urdu and the Bengali. 
Okay, so they, the population have fought for those languages for their choice. Okay, and that uh, fight led to the death of some people. So since that day, this date is marked as the International Mother Language Day. Thank you. And now to Obama of Togo. I hope you've heard what Florent Azuma have just said. From your point of view, what is the aim of International Mother Language Day? Now, the topic of today is really a topical issue. It is very timely and it's, it is important because it has to do with mother tongue. And as you said, February 21 was the International Mother Language Day, which was celebrated. But first of all, what is a mother language? Because we are celeb they celebrated the Mother Language Day. That's why it is important to know what is a mother language. So a mother language is not forcibly the language that your mother speaks. For instance, if your mother is a Kabye, so your mo mother language may be French, English, or Evi. Let me explain it. A mother language, also known as a mother tongue, is a language a child speaks from his earliest childhood. It means, it means that when you give birth to a baby, so the language you start speaking to the, the, that baby from that moment until the, the child grows up. That's what we call the mother language. It's the first language that a child acquire, acquires at birth. So if as a parent you decide to speak French to your baby until uh, he or she grows up, it means that French is your baby's mother language. Now, why is mother language celebrated in the world? So the, the 21st of February was chosen to commemorate those killed during the 1952 Bengali language movement. So something happened that day in the Bengali language movement. So it happened in Bangladesh. You know, after being freed from Pakistan, oh no, uh, I'm sorry, from India, they formed a Pakistan state and the leaders decided to use Urdu as the state language in Pakistan. And those people, speak, uh, people speaking Bengali language suggested that Bengali also should be added as a second state language which was refused. That's why students from the University of Dhaka began protesting on February 21, 1952. And after further government refusal of incorporating the, Beng the Bengali language. Now, while attempting to arrest students, the police shot and killed several students at the protest. And that caused a widespread civil unrest. So later on, a monument was built near the University University of Dhaka to commemorate the, the those killed because of the language movement. And now, in 1999, UNESCO proclaimed that date, the 21st of February, as uh, the mother language the international mother language day and it was later adopted by the un general assembly let us come back now to the aim of the international mother language day its aim is to pro promote the preservation and protection of all languages 
all languages in the world. And that, that day is chosen also to raise awareness of the significance of modern languages for individual and uh, collective identity. So it seeks to encourage multilingualism and the preservation of linguistic heritage worldwide. Okay. Maybe if you've just tuned in, this is Radio Lome, and the program going on is What Do You Know? And because February 21st was a day set aside to earmark the International Mother Language Day, and in that framework, my two guests are in the studio to tell us more about International Mother Language Day. Now, Florent, why is it important to learn your mother's language? Why is it important to learn our mother language? Why is it important to learn our mother's language? You know, it is very important to learn our mother's language because we need it. We need it like other languages that we are speaking. We need it like French. We need it like English. We need it like Chinese. We need it like Japanese. We need it like uh, Esperanto, Spanish, etc. Uh, uh, okay? So we need our mother's language uh, like the way we need the foreign languages. We need our mother's language like the way you and I, we are speaking English right now here. We need our mother's language also to exchange in it like, like this. Okay? We need our mother language eh, to, so that to express our genius in it, our minds, our talent, our ideas. We need to, to, to show our, uh, our knowledge in it. We need it. So that is why it is very important for us. You know, in this society, we cannot make progress if there is no language. Okay? And we should also understand that other languages in this world are equal. There is no language that is uh, more worthy than uh, another one. No, they are all equal. So our mother's language is important for us like other languages that we are using every day uh, in schools, in the studies, in other workplaces. We need our mother's language so that to express our mind, our being, our genius, our talent. Okay, so that is why it is very important that we learn our mother's language because it is very important for us, very important. That is the first weapon that we have to fight. Someday we will know And you will ask her Why she had to go We live and die We laugh and we cry You must take away the pain Before you can begin to live again So let it start my friend, let it start Let the tears come rolling from your heart And when you need a light In the lonely night Carry me like a fire in your heart Carry me like a fire a river rolling to the sea you will be with her for all eternity but we that remain need you here again so hold her in your memory and begin to make the shadows disappear yes let it start my friend, let it start Let the love come rolling from your heart And when you need a light In the lonely nights Carry me like a fire in your heart Carry me like a fire in your heart 
Obama of Togo, I'll put the same question before you. Why is it important to learn your mother's language? Uh, with regard to the question, why is it important to learn your mother language? We have many reasons. Firstly, it forms the basis of communication within the family and community. If you live in a community, the language you speak relates you to that community and uh, it, it helps you have a sense of belonging to a community. And the learning a modern language is also a stronger foundation for learning other languages. If you really master your modern language, it will help you develop literacy and cognitive skills and making it easier for you to learn additional languages. It also creates a cultural connection. It allows you as an individual to connect with your heritage and you understand to that your cultural traditions, values and you can communicate effectively as I said with your family and your community. And the the learning of one's modern language also enhances cognitive development, memory development and critical thinking skills. So that's why it is really important to learn one's uh, modern language because it's also it also enables you to show sense of identity fluency in your modern language fosters a sense of self-awareness and belonging and cultural pride thank you very much thanks for your explanation Obama of Togo, what is the relationship between language and identity? Now, what is the relationship between language and identity? Language shapes how we think, how we see things. Our mother tongue influences our perception of the word. It shapes our thoughts and emotions and provides us uh, provide a unique lens through which we understand ourselves and our surrounding so if you want to express your identity who you really are it is also through your language for instance if i go to if you go to the united states today and in the streets you you hear people speaking Eve. do you imagine the the pride that or the sense of pride that will we fill your body you say oh okay these people are from togo or are, or they are from ghana and you know that will lead you even to go and connect with those people just because of the language that you you, you hear them speak you see and if today you listen to someone speaking a uh, Igbo. You say, ah, this person is from Nigeria. If you hear someone speaking uh, uh, German, you say, oh, this guy is from Germany. So it means that our modern languages are our identity. Through someone's modern language, we know uh, which part of the world the person belongs to. So that is uh, the relationship between uh, modern language and uh, identity. Thanks for your explanation. 
Maybe you've just tuned in. This is Radio Lome, and the program going on is What Do You Know? And because February 21st was a day set aside to earmark International Mother's Language Day, as I have said earlier, and that is why our discussions of today is focused on International Mother Language Day. You can follow our program on YouTube. If you are not able to tune in to Radio Lumen now to hear our program, you can follow us on YouTube. Our program is also on YouTube. <laughs> I'm very grateful to have my two guests in the studio for today's discussions on uh, International Mother Language Day. And I'm very glad for your explanation, the way the two of you have talked at length. And I hope our faithful listeners have taken some clue from it. We can speak English to our children. But our mother language too is very, very important. Once again, I say a very big thanks to Florent Azuma. Thanks for having your time to come to the studio of Radio Lome to tell us more about International Mother Language Day. Mr. Balao, alias Obama of Togo, I'm very grateful to have you in the studio of Radio Lome. For our discussions on the issue of International Mother Language Day, I'm so happy to have you and thanks for your explanations. And Madam Oyawole, thank you for having me here. It is always a pleasure. It's time for us to sign out. Thanks for acknowledging our program. As I said earlier, my thanks goes to Florent Azuma and also to Balao, alias Obama of Togo, and not forgotten our technical producer and the man in control of the sound. Until we come your way next week, Saturday, remain blessed.